This video is going to show you how to install your vibration dampeners in the system. First, you will remove the back cover using the included 332nd inch Allen wrench. You can also use the included T10 bit in your own screwdriver. Turn the supply valves on the front of the unit to the open position and then tip the unit on its front. You'll use the included five millimeter Allen wrench to remove the shipping bolts from the bottom of the unit. Make sure after you get two of them out and the other two loosen that you support the vacuum pump with your hand. The vacuum pump will slide back once these bolts are removed and it can rest in the unit. At this point, you will want to remove the vacuum hose from inside of the white unit. Once the bolts are removed, you'll tip the unit back into the upright position and take out the vacuum pump and turn it upside down. You're going to remove the four screws on the side of the pump using the included 332nd inch Allen wrench or the T10 star bit in your own screwdriver. Once you get these loosened, the fan shrouds will fall out and that is fine. Do the same thing on both sides of the pump. Once those are removed, you'll put the fan shrouds back along with the included rubber gasket, making sure that the notch is pointing down towards your work surface. You will line the holes up in the fan shroud, the gasket, and the pump, and replace the screws. Tighten until the rubber gasket is just barely depressed. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side of the vacuum pump. Next, you'll insert the vibration dampeners into the pump. Screw the short side into bottom of vacuum pump. Once you've done that by hand, then tighten with a small pair of pliers. Use firm hand pressure, but do not over tighten. Okay, now we're gonna install the pump back into the unit. Hold it as shown. Make sure to use the correct holes for your pump as shown in this picture. Line the holes up with the springs and push them through the bottom of the unit. You're almost there. We're gonna pull those rubber gaskets through the sides of the unit. And then we will reattach the vacuum hose from inside of white unit to both sides of the vacuum pump. We're going to tilt the unit forward, again supporting the vacuum pump with our hand, and then we are going to 
screw on the four nuts onto those vibration dampeners. Once they're on, we will tighten with a 10 millimeter wrench or pliers. Make sure not to over tighten. The spring should not change shape. Done. You got the vacuum pump installed. Nice job.